lecture of standard 8 of subject science. So in the previous lecture, we had completed just uh, properties of non-metals, chemical properties of non-metal. So chapter was over there. That was the last topic of your chapter. In this particular lecture, we are going to solve exercise which is given in your textbook. So here, we are starting with the first question. So in the first question, this is the MCQ portion or objective type of portion. So in the objective type of portion, so what is given, let's discuss one by one. So let's look what is given in your textbook. So first question says that a metal that is liquid at room temperature. So there is a correction in first question. Options are given and it is the uh, options of non-metal. So first question says that a non-metal that is liquid at room temperature. Option number A, bromine. Option B, sulfur. Option C, chlorine. Option D, bromine. So what is the right answer? Option number A and it is bromine. Bromine is a non-metal which is liquid in room temperature. What is given in question number 2? Let's look. So, the metallic sign of metals such as gold due to the So, due to the luster, option number A, option number B, malleability, ductility and sonority. So, we know that lustrous represents the sign in nature of any metal. So, option number A is right. It is lustrous due to the lustrous nature. What is given in question number 3? Let's look. So in question number 3 it is given. The gas released when sodium reacts with water. Sodium water gas react karega. So gas force si release hoti hai. So the gas released when sodium reacts with water. It is gold. Sorry. It is oxygen, water vapor, sodium hydroxide or hydrogen. So we know that. In the, that portion, metal plus acid always evaluates the hydrogen gas. So this will generate hydrogen gas. What is given in question number 4? Let's try to find out. So what is question number 4? A metal which is used to coat iron to prevent it from rusting. So, ऐसा कौन सा metal है जो iron के ऊपर coating किया जाता है, rusting से बचाने के लिए? So, option सार गिवन, gold, option B, zinc, option C, aluminium, option B, lead. So, option number B, that is zinc. Zinc is coated over on the surface of iron to prevent it from rusting. So, this is the right answer, zinc. What is given in question number 5? Let's look. The hardest substance known. Hardest substance. First is graphite. Second is diamond. Th third is lead. And fourth is aluminum. So we know that. Option number B is diamond. Diamond is the hardest substance in the world. This is the pure form of carbon. Now what is given in question number 6? So question number 6 says that a non-metal which is a gas at a room temperature. Non-metal and wo gas at room temperature. Kaun si hai? So let's look in options sulfur. No, sulfur is non-metal but it is solid at a room temperature. Chlorine, bromine and phosphorus. So bromine is a liquid, uh, it is available in a liquid form at a room temperature. Why? Phosphorus is solid. So option number B, it is chlorine. Chlorine gas is used, it is available in a gaseous form at a room temperature. Now what is the question number 7? Let's look what is given in question number 7. The non-metal used in making the leads of pencil. So non-metal jo pencil ki leads banane mein kaam aata hai. What is this? It is lead, graphite, phosphorus or silicon. So we know that 
लीड्स ऑफ पेंसिल्स कंटेन्स ग्रेफाइट सो ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज राइट इट इज ग्रेफाइट ग्रेफाइट इज यूज्ड टू मेक द लीड्स ऑफ पेंसिल नाउ वी आर मूविंग टुवर्ड्स द क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 एंड इट इज योर ट्रू और फॉल्स सेशन सो हियर यू हैव टू से this is right or wrong this is true or false so first question first question in the first question is given to you most of the metals are hard except sodium and potassium so is it right yes it is right because most of the metals are solid while sodium and potassium are soft so this is your true What is the one in question number two? So let's know. Metal oxides are basic in nature. So metallic oxide metal reacts with oxygen, and when we add further H2O to that metallic oxide, it will form base. So we can say metallic oxides are basic in nature. That's why it is true. What is the one in question number three? So question number three is that copper reacts with dilute acids to produce hydrogen gas. No, copper is very less reactive metal. It cannot produce hydrogen gas. So question number three is false. Now question number four. What is given in question number four? So let's look. The less reactive metal is displaced from its salt by a more reactive metal. So more reactive metal can displace easily less reactive metal as we discussed in the session of displacement reaction. So this is right. Less को more क्या कर देगा? Displaced. Now question number five. What is given in question number five? Let's look. Graphite is a good conductor. Graphite, which is in a inside our pencils, so it is a good conductor. Yes, it conducts the electricity. So this statement is true. Question number six. What is given here? Look. Non-metal oxides turn red litmus to blue. non metal oxide turns red to blue no non metallic oxides are acidic in nature and it can turns blue red litmus to the red litmus so it cannot turns red to blue so this is just this statement is false over here answer number 7 what is given in question number 7 Phosphorus is used in making matches. Yes, this is right. Phosphorus जो होता है, वो matches बनाने के काम में आता है. So this was the our true false session. Now we are moving towards the question number three, and this is the complete complete the reaction. Complete the Complete the reaction. So first reaction is given to you, and it is 4 Fe plus 3 O2 plus moisture. What gives? So we know that it gives. What gives? That you have to write down here. So what gives it? Let's do. It will form 2 Fe2. Question number two, reaction number two is given to you. MgO plus H2O. MgO plus H2O. What gives? So we know that Mg plus two oxygen minus two in H plus OH minus in the water molecules. So that it will get combined with one another and it will form Mg and this will form OH minus. 
So this will again turn one as minus one. So minus one minus one minus two, and this is plus two. So product of this reaction will be MgOH plus magnesium hydroxide. Third reaction it is given in your textbook. Fe plus two HCl. Fe plus two HCl. What it gives? So Fe has valency plus two. H plus Cl minus H plus Cl minus. So minus one minus one minus two and this plus two gets cancelled out and forms FeCl2. It gets combined here and hydrogen hydrogen gets combined with one another and it will form H2 base. So this is the product. Fourth reaction is given to you. Uh, aluminium reaction of aluminium with H2SO4. So here aluminium plus H2SO4. What produces? Look here. Aluminium has valency plus 3 minus H2SO4, H plus 1, H plus 1, SO4 minus 2. So when I take one aluminium mole, because it is not neutralized, this is plus 3, this is minus 2. So it four lena padega. And when I take one more aluminium, so here we have to increase SO4 minus 2. Again, this will get not neutralized because plus 3 plus 3 plus 6 minus 2 minus 2 minus 4. So again, I am taking SO4 minus 2. So, at SO4 ke saath, do no hydrogen to bonus me aaya. So, here H plus 1, H plus 1. So, 2 aluminium reacts with 3 SO4. It will form air 2 SO4 tries. And this will form H2. H2 and H2. So here 3H2 gets relieved out. So this was your fifth question. Sorry, fourth question. Now fifth question is given to you. Carbon dioxide reacts with H2 ammonia. So what it forms? It forms H2CO3 carbonic acid. And sixth reaction is given to you and it is H2 plus 3N2. It is H2 plus 3N2. So what produces? N2 plus 3H2. So it will form 2NH3. This is ammonia. It is known as a ammonia. Now we are going towards the very short question answer portion. So let's look what is given in the very short question answer portion. Now, in the very short answer question, this is the session of very short question answer. So, what are the givens? So, I am writing here question number 1. I am reading here question number 1. A metal which can be cut with a knife. So, by the use of knife, we can cut sodium and potassium metals. So these are the metals which can be easily cut with the knife. Now we are moving towards the question number 2. So what is given in question number 2? The substance sodium is immersed in for storage. Sodium ko storage ke liye kis me rakha jata hai? The substance is immersed the substance sodium is immersed in storage, so sodium is immersed in kerosene. It is immersed in kerosene, it is kept in kerosene. So answer number 3, it is kerosene. What is question number 3 says that a metal used in the construction of building and bridges. So answer number 3, the metal which is used in the construction of buildings and bridges. So most probably this is known as a iron. Iron is widely used for the any type of construction work. Question number four. A lustrous non-metal. Answer four. A lustrous non-metal. Lustrous non-metal it means ke kaisa non-metal jo shiny dikta ho. So in that case iodine is included. Iodine is a non-metal and it is lustrous in nature. Question number 5. 
so what is given in question number five? A brittle non-metal. A brittle non-metal. Brittle होना चाहिए. So this can include sulfur, phosphorus. These are the brittle non-metals. Sulfur and phosphorus. What is the given in question number six? Let's do. So in question number six. The compound formed when hydrogen reacts with oxygen. So hydrogen, if hydrogen reacts with oxygen, so it will form water molecule, and it is H2O. Answer number seven. So what is question seven? The compound formed when sulfur dioxide reacts with water. Sulfur dioxide reacts with water. So SO2 reacts with H2O. What we form? H2SO3. So in furosis. So what we form? This way. Sulfurous acid. This will form here. And now another question number 5. That you have to define. Define the following. Define the following. So first is luster. So what is luster in the case? So we know that that I already discussed that some metals having a shiny surface and shiny surface generally it's due to the lustrous nature. So this will uh, given in your textbooks you you can easily write down from there. What second definition is given to you? It is malleability. Second is malleability. So some of the metals can be beaten into thin sheets. Beaten into thin sheets. It is considered as a malleability of metal. Third one, it is ductility. Third one is ductility. So some of the metals are converted into converted into thin wires. Thin wires. This is considered as a ductility of metal. Fourth question is given to us, and fourth is sonority. Fourth is fourth is sonority. So sonority means when. The metal, the metal strikes on the another surface of metal, it can produce sound by striking. So it can produce sound by striking, it is considered as a sonority, that is given. Fifth one, displacement reaction. Fifth one, displacement. Reaction. So, what is displacement reaction? The high reactive metal displaces less reactive metal is considered as a displacement reaction. High reactive metal displaces less reactive metal from a solution of salt. It is known as a displacement reaction. And sixth one, reactivity series. Reactivity series. So, reactivity series is the series of metals in that the reaction of the reactivity of different different metals are given with the different different elements and it is generally can be summarized as a Karina, Kar, Mage, Alto, Zen, Farai, Firbi, Hay, Q, Mili, Hg, Hg, A. So this is, these are the reactivity series of metals in this series. So this was the your exercise and one line answer and very short question answers that we discussed here. Brief questions answers you have to write down from your topic, from your lecture, from your syllabus, from textbook. So this is over to you. Thank you. In the next lecture, we will start with the another chapter.
and we will move towards the another lesson. So thank you.